Hey guys, and welcome to the Land of Hobby channel, and today we're going to be doing a tank setup for our triops. We have here a gallon tank, um, we have a little uh, castle there for decoration, we um, have a bag of sand, blue sand, and we have what came with the triop kit, and we also have 100% natural spring water as well. Uh, we're going to start off by rinsing the uh, gallon tank out with um, some of the natural spring water and cleaning it with a paper towel. Then we're going to put about 4 centimetres of water, roughly between 300 to 400 millilitres of water. And then we're also going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, carrot for their food. And uh, yeah, and then we'll put some of the eggs in. We're going to have to put the eggs on um, a bit of paper. And apparently in these, ti these tiny little eggs in here, there's roughly about 60 eggs, apparently, it says in the uh, information. So um, they said get 15 to 20 of the eggs off of the uh, bit of paper and put them in the water. We've also had the water sitting um, inside for about two or three days now, so it's completely room temperature. And as you can see on the thermometer that's sitting down, I don't know if you can see it well, that the temperature is 78 degrees. And the uh, temperature you want for your triops is between 74 to 84 degrees. So um, that is all well and good. So okay, we're going to begin with uh, cleaning out the, rinsing out the tank with some spring water. Okay, going to go ahead and pour some water in the tank to rinse it out. Gonna open it up. This is the distilled water, and we're going to pour just a little bit into the tank just to rinse it out. And I'm going to give it a nice little shake just to rinse it out. And I'm just going to pour this into the sink. Okay, I've uh, drained the water out. It's said to um, dry off with some paper towels, but we have none. So I tried using some tissue paper, but it left um, little bits of tissue in the bottom. So I rinsed it out again with water, and I figured, well, I'm going to fill it up with 400 milliliters of water anyway. So there's no point in drying it, and it's, it's been rinsed very well. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and measure the water, put the water in there. Okay, I have um, a shaker here, and it has a measurement on it. So what I'm going to do is there's 400 millilitres here and I'm going to fill that up with the distilled water. I've already rinsed this with distilled water already so that it's nice and clean. And um, I see on the Triop uh, website that they have especially to give you information that when you have water and you're going to give them some water it's very good to uh, shake the water up for just a little while just so you aerate the water for them so it's got lots of oxygen in there for them to breathe. And apparently it can help with your hatching as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake this for a couple more minutes and then I'll pour it into the tank. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've shaken up for a few minutes and now I'm going to pour water into the tank. There we go. Yeah, it looked a little bit too shallow, um, 400 mils, because this dish is quite wide. So I went ahead and put another 150 mils in there, and now there's about just over a cent, about two centimeters of water, which is how much uh, depth you'd want for your triops. So the water's in the tank and it's nice and clean. Uh, gonna go ahead and sort out some carrot for the tank. Okay, it said um, that you needed about a quarter of a table a teaspoon of uh, carrot for the tank, and I have a frozen carrot here fresh frozen carrot, which I thought would be more than enough good enough, and uh, also I was a bit lazy and I didn't actually have a peeled carrot, but it's about a quarter of a tea, ta, 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 uh, uh, teaspoon, and it's all nice and crushed up, and I'm going to go ahead and drop this in the tank, and hopefully this will be enough for the babies, so that's nice and mashed up. Uh, so a little bit more than a quarter of a, a teaspoon, so I'll put about that much in and go ahead and drop that into the tank for them. And I did wash this quickly with um, some more distilled water. Okay, now I'm going to uh, drop some of the eggs onto the A4 paper. Be nice and careful. So, yeah, these are really, really tiny. It said that you wanted about 20 eggs per uh, tank, and I'm just going to quickly count these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's about 23 eggs on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip the other A4 bit of paper 
I'm going to let them roll down and then place them on another table on oh, sorry another bit of paper and just to be sure I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 it's 13 on here so I'm going to pour these into the water nice and gently okay so I'm going to just drop a few more in there and then that will be it okay brilliant a few just went in there just then and I'm going to pour the rest of them back into the little pot and that's it and yeah they're now done we now have um, the carrot in the water and we also have the little eggs floating in there as well so now all we have to do is just wait and see what happens and I just forgot that you need to put the thermometer onto the tank as well so I've got the thermometer here that come with it and it's got a nice sticky surface and I'll stick it in the middle on the bottom this is going to be the back of the tank anyway there we go so now we have the thermometer on there to tell us the temperature of the water and yeah the tank now is complete so uh, yeah check back in a couple of days to see if the eggs have hatched and yeah thanks for watching